What's up everybody, Phantom here. Uh, we are at Extreme Raceway Park here in Ferris, Texas for Reaper's All-Star No Prep Race. It's cold, it's windy, it rained all day yesterday, but it looks like the track is either dry or they are drying it out. So we're gonna race today. Uh, the OG Murder Nova is ready to go. We just spooled it up a couple times. Sounds good, spool's good. So as soon as they say, let's get it, Sean's gonna jump in the driver's seat and get it. So we'll, uh, we'll wait on him to come out of the trailer. We'll talk to him, see what's going on. Uh, as you've seen, probably on our Facebook post, we're having some uh, electrical issues with the toter. We've got a guy here working on it right now. Hopefully, hopefully he can get it sorted out because we have to go to Georgia and then Florida as soon as we leave here. So, uh, we're gonna go pick up the new car and go do some testing with uh, Steve Petty and the Proline guys. So, it's race day, let's get it. It's race day. Sort of. It's cold. Man, look, hey, look the sun. That is the first time in a couple of days that I almost need my sunglasses. Now I just gotta find them. Probably with my wallet <laughs> somewhere. Wallet. Exactly where you know where it's at. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, OG's here, it's ready uh -huh. to go. Spooled it up a couple times, sounds good. It does, it sounds really good. So, you don't really think about this type of stuff, but, and I never really have either because I haven't traveled around a whole lot. Uh, oh, from place to place. Place to place. And, and making adjustments and things like that. And uh, we changed a lot of shit when we were up in Nebraska. And, and you don't <laughs> we think do. about it. <laughs> Maybe we ain't changed shit. <laughs> man, we ain't changed nothing. That's what we say every time. Yep. And it turns out, Man, we've changed a lot of shit on the car. Uh, we we changed air fuel tremendously going from here up to, to Nebraska. And if you're like me and you don't write down everything that you do, you just make little changes at a time. Well, all those little changes equal a lot when you get back down here. So we added so much fuel to it uh, up in Nebraska that uh, we come down here and it's just pig fat, you know? So. We've slowly been leaning it out. We spooled it up just a minute ago. Everything sounded good. Uh, it came up really fast. I I'm happy with how it's spooling. Uh, this car is real uh, heat sensitive, is what I'm gonna call it. It is. Uh, so after two or three spool ups, then, then you're gonna get what's gonna happen after I do a big fat burnout up there, you know? And uh, you spooled it up twice. Everything seemed pretty good. Here's our guy right here fixing our well, I don't know if he's fixing it. <laughs> he did he got it tore apart. I keep on hearing him go, God damn, yeah. over there. So I'm sure there's a whole lot of problems. Like, he's probably going to go, look, man, this thing, I need a week with this in yeah. a shop. I went ahead and put this so, thing back together. Yeah. <laughs> look, man, it ain't going to happen. You know, yeah. thanks for getting me in the gates, yeah. but this deal ain't going to happen. Yeah. You know, so. Man, so how about the ride down here, though? Let's talk about, I feel like we need to talk about that. I don't usually I'm get scared. I'm not real sure if we need to talk about it or I not. I don't usually get scared riding with you anywhere. Oh, I wasn't sure anybody in the back was even had any idea what was oh, going on. I knew on. what was going on. No, I was, I don't get that nervous driving. Uh, it was intense. Something wasn't right. Uh, uh, even my father-in-law text and was like, hey, those roads in Texas get slick when it's raining. <laughs> Well, okay. He should have elaborated. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I Roger. Should've, I should have asked more questions <laughs> because, uh, man, he was right. Yeah. I don't understand what was going on. A couple of times, I rolled the window down and put my hand out to make sure that it wasn't 24 degrees out, yeah. you know, because every time we would take off, the whole thing would spin like I was on ice. And so I'm thinking to myself, no, it's got good tires. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and, and stopping was another problem, you know? And, hey, that, that and, one attempted stop was sketchy. Well, I don't know what was going on, but I, I have the, the GLAD, what's it, the GLAD handle? Yeah. Handbrake, you know, for the trailers. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I was trying not to touch the brakes because every time I touched the brakes, I'd lose all the lights in the back of the truck. And luckily, Ryan was following me on the way here. So uh, if somebody was gonna ask in me, I was hoping it was gonna be Ryan. <laughs> And uh, uh, Ryan, because Ryan's got all the money, he can fix that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we just get out and go, ah, shit. All right, all right okay. let's go. You know, so, so uh, we're hauling ass down here, and when I say hauling ass, we're still doing 80, 85. You know, and 
So once we get into Dallas traffic, I start thinking, man, fuck, we probably should slow down a little bit. Well, of course, in true me fashion, I missed the turn. <laughs> so, and this is the only reason that we even got in this bind is because I we missed the, the turn. Box. So we turn around, we start going, and then, then all of a sudden we're not on the highway anymore. You know, uh, there's no stoplights on freeways. Yeah. Well, there's a stoplight in front of us and it turns red. I look down, we're only doing like 50, 55. I hit the brakes, nah. <laughs> the brakes were like, nah. So we, get, we got real close to the intersection and I just kind of looked over at Aaron and <laughs> we're not stopping. So at this point, ooh, better check that cold start. So at this fucking point, I'm mashing the brakes, man. Like the, the whole truck's bouncing. The whole, it, it's hey, just... hey, everything starts locking up. Everything's bouncing. And I'm kind of looking around like, the fuck? You know, I don't know what's going on. Well, I can't let off the brakes yeah. because at this point, we're already. We're in a 70,000 pound guided missile. We already started into, it's, it's a good thing nobody was in front of me because we were taking them with us all the way to, to the, the other side, side, to the <laughs> other side of the intersection. So I'm thinking, man, that's fucking crazy, dude. Truck died, everything. Uh, we slide all the way through the intersection. Luckily, there wasn't a whole lot of people there, yeah. and the couple of cars that were there stopped for us. Uh, they seen the train wreck that was about to ensue. Oh yeah, dude, hey, train wreck was about to happen. And I don't care how many cars were in front of me, we was gonna pile them bitches up until we, we got to the end. And uh, like, I mean, you know, I must just be living right, you know? Karma, hey, karma helped me out last night because uh, I should have wadded this bitch up. So after that, man, I was just gun shy as fuck. Which I never get, yeah. but I know that there's a problem. You making you being nervous makes me nervous. If I'm nervous, every goddamn body should be nervous. So I'm thinking, fuck, man, we got an hour left, and it's all Dallas. It's all highway. Once we're on the highway, though, as long. But you know how Dallas is, man. Them motherfuckers be stopping for no reason, yeah. you know. And so I'm just head on a swivel the rest of the trip. And so we start taking off and ass in starts sliding. And I'm like, transmission's slipping because there's no fucking way it's smoking the tires, you know? And so I roll the window down, make sure it's not freezing outside and that the bridges and shit aren't iced over. There's like 50 outside, so it wasn't that cold. Yeah. So I full blown went ahead and pulled over. We got out, we looked at everything we're and was like- Blown out bags, blown out tires. We're looking for something that is telling me that this whole rig is fucked off and it's time to get the car out and see how far we can make <laughs> it and just leave this whole deal on the side of the road. Yeah. So, so we start looking, you know, and, and whenever I bought this rig, the tires were pretty fresh on this deal, you know? So I'm looking, I'm going, okay, everything seems fine. There's no problems. So we get back in, I hammer this fucking deal, man. Hey, and it, Man, it's like driving the Scout. Yeah. So, as soon as you feel the torque start coming in, it starts spinning the tires, it kicks sideways, and then it shifts. And then, and then it does it again. Yeah. And then it shifts, and then it does it again. It did it all the way into third gear. Well, we start in second in this deal, yeah. so it did it all the way to fourth gear. So, I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on, man? And at that point, man, I'm doing 45, 50, the rest of just, white knuckling white the knuckling shit knuckling. out of it the rest of the trip here man but hey we made it in it's full-blown fucking pouring you know i can't see shit you know, plus i'm old yeah you know <laughs> headlights are blinding the fuck out of me you know the windshield dirty as fuck windshield wipers barely work you know so anyway it was a mess but we made it here and now we got this dude trying to fix the lights yeah. and every once in a while i hear him shake i see him shake his head and it god damn you know as you can see those up there are still flashing and they shouldn't be flashing oh yeah no those are running lights those should never flash so yeah it's kind of a mess hopefully he's gonna fix this but dude rolls up in a mustang so i'm not real sure i'm not real sure i was like man no this is our guy and then he pulls up in a mustang he so. got ghost stripes like your dad on his car oh I so hey there. hopefully hopefully he's our guy he seems to know what he's doing yeah, yeah. you know and you know what 
man, thank God. He's not a douchebag. No. You know what I mean? He, he, he's, he's working on the truck instead of trying to hang out that's with right. you. That's right. He came to do what he came to, to, to that he said he was going to do. Yep. He's working on the truck. Yep. And, and whenever he's done fixing this truck, I don't mind paying him whatever he tells me. And then he can hang out with me the rest of the day. Yep. You know why? Because he's not a douchebag. Yep. You know, so... I, I, I'll hang out with that dude the rest of today, man. Especially if you fix my fucking lights, man. Yeah. Because after this, we ain't got time to fix this rig. Yep. After this, we're leaving Monday to go to Florida. That'll be something new. Uh, but we're yeah. going to be testing the new car. Kind of oh, oh, oh. a little bit. And Woo! We're going to be right. testing the new car. Everyone and, thinks uh, we don't care about that car. It's not that we don't care about it. Oh, no. It, hey. it was broke for four months. Yeah, no. The new car just got, we just got the motor back in it. Everything is good on it. Uh, and we're going to the track with Steve Petty, man. You yeah, know, it's gonna be I an mean, experience we're there. gonna go and we're gonna see how fast yep. this thing will go. Either that or we're gonna break the shit out of it. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. But yes, this weekend, we're gonna let off the button on this thing. We're gonna see what happens. But we did take a lot of bite out of the car. Uh, while we were on the street, I thought that the starting line needed the bite. So I put a lot of bite in it and it made it shake again down track. Even on the street, it was shaking, which. Yeah. kind of what this car does yep. so we put it back to cl as closely as we could remember because <laughs> we, we don't write shit down, shit down. Yeah. so we put it back to close as we remember from whenever we was doing the appearances with uh lutz and chuck and ryan and uh hopefully we're gonna let off the button it's gonna go but we like i said we changed we don't have a lot of tune-ups with this engine you know what I mean? We don't. We have we don't. from Outlaw Armageddon, and then we have the, what, 56 races from Nebraska? Yeah, but... Which, those are out the door. Yeah, I those, mean... Those tune-ups are going to make an extra three, 400 horsepower down here. We have a total of probably 15 to 20 passes, if that. That may be on the high side of decent track team. Okay, car. but I will say this. We did pretty goddamn good in Nebraska. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't and we didn't have out. nothing to start with there, either. No. You know what I mean? So, but... What I love about Reaper's races and, and uh, it is there ain't no testing. We don't get no passes. Nope. Our first pass down this track could be our last. It just, you know, I'm gonna drive the fuck out of it, but I don't know if the car's gonna go straight. Uh, that's what we were testing with Phantom driving the other day. And uh, we didn't take enough power out of the car. Cause like I said, the tune up that we had in it was a tune up from Nebraska. Three, 400 more horsepower down here. I'm just hot. guessing. I'm just guessing three or hot. four. I don't care if it's 200 more. For the surface that we was on the other night at Thunder Valley, it was too fucking hot. Whatever it was, the 3,000 more than I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to put a tune-up in it, and we're going to go up there. We're going to roll the dice, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get one. I just need one pass. Yep, Give one me one first round win watch i'm gonna draw ryan or something yeah, you know yeah. give me a fir one up. first yeah. round win and uh then we'll have what we need to to go faster the next round you know this car with the new engine and and the the new hopefully newfound knowledge of what this suspension wants well and that big ass tire and that big ass fucking tire uh we can be competitive at this oh, yeah. stuff oh, yeah. uh yeah. not a no prep kings but a true no test run it off the fucking trailer yep. no prep we can do yep. so you know it's gonna go it's gonna and we're gonna crash game, it man. you know but either way after this race we're going to oh hey good morning yeah there's our other help it finally <laughs> wakes up so either way the car's getting tore down uh it needs everything that i've talked about in the past yep. so this is uh there could only be one pass left in this deal before we tear this thing down for the winter. And then we've got a lot of work to do. But next week... It ain't getting done next week. No, it ain't getting done next week because we are going to be... With the new car. With the new car. So, but anyways, yes. Hopefully everything goes good. And uh, we'll let off the button and see what happens. So we were going to get a test pass. And now we're going to get a test pass. Well, I mean... It just got done raining. Like it's it's been raining. It rained all night. It rained today. So I think it was either test passes if you want them or cancel this deal. Uh, that matter to me either way. So if we get a test pass, we're gonna take it. So we're gonna go up there right now and take it and uh, see what happens.
we look good. Uh, you know, for us just throwing the four link back in it after after Nebraska, and it didn't look like it shook nothing. Man, it didn't shake. It, it left pretty good. Uh, I always have to drive that car. I feel like somebody who sets up cars could probably fix something in it and yeah. probably drive a little bit better. But uh, it drove good enough that I could drive it. Uh, it looked it good. It wouldn't it bump. Good, it wouldn't bump. Uh, you know, Fireball, like Ryan, he outruns me every time we race, you know, especially in the OG. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, he, he put a car and a half, maybe two on me. I think I got him out of the hole pretty good. And I thought, oh, shit, it's sticking. It's sticking, you know. And then, thunk, I heard it click second. And I was, well, okay, we're still rolling, yeah. you know. First two pair down the track, you know. I mean, we just showed them how to do it. First two pair down the track. Uh, so the draggy said, what, 50? Draggy said a 50. So it, uh, 450, and that's just throwing a tune in it. I was safe. I, I killed a little bit of power out of the hole. That power's fixing to go back in yeah, it. Yeah, that track uh, was pretty good after you right And I, I know I know what I had told you when you was testing it the other night. Go 330. Go 330. <laughs> but <laughs> you did tell me if it felt good, man. Stay in uh, it. Yeah, no, hey, it felt good. I stayed in it. I looked, you know, and uh, uh, Ryan told me what he had in his car, which was significantly more than what I had in this one, but we were doing more than one thing here. We were uh, we're testing to make sure that the car doesn't shut off because we had all oh, those problems. Yeah. Uh, I'm so gun shy of everything right now. We're testing to make sure that the car doesn't shut off. It didn't. We're testing to make sure that the four link is right and it goes straight. It did. We're testing the four link to make sure that it doesn't shake on the big end. It didn't. Everything that we did, now we've got that data. We're good. Well, it's a good thing you made a good first test hit. Uh, just yes, went and, we got a great draw. Just drew for eliminations. We got second pair down, and you got Kayla Morton. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I did watch her first test pass, man. It didn't look good. Oh, really? No, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but that don't mean anything. No. That's why she got a test pass. Yep. You know what I mean? So, uh, Kayla is a racer. 100%. Plain and simple, she's a racer. She knows she drew me. She could go over there and take four tenths out of that car and still outrun me. Yep. You know what I mean? I, that's just, that's me being real. Uh, Wouldn't suggest it though. <laughs> yeah, because what if? Because uh, we can turn ours up too. Yeah. But I don't know what she was trying to run the first one, but yeah, it uh, it shook pretty good. Oh really? Yeah, it didn't it didn't take much, but. I mean, they're good, man. Oh, yeah. This is what they do. Well, she 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 normally travels around with the guy that does all the tire management on her car, so I'm sure he's seen what needs to happen. And no, he's here. Yeah, Chase is here, right? Oh, and was Chase, that? Is Chase here? Okay, Chase well then, yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah, he probably said, "Oh, we got a test pass. I'm gonna try something." Yeah, and she probably said, "Okay." Now they're gonna put a tune up in it that he knows is gonna go right down there. Yep. You know, I mean, he's a smart dude. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. and uh, she's a driver. Like I said, she is drag race. Uh -huh. You know, doesn't matter. I mean, she won Armageddon not this last year, but the year before. She won she Armageddon. She second this year. Yeah. 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 You know who won? Yeah. <laughs> the only other guy that we would have drawn if we didn't get her. Yes, exactly. Ryan Martin. Exactly. So. Hey, it is what it is. I'm having a great time with the with the OG, man. If we can come out here, we just wanted to make sure that the the suspension that we put on the OG was going to go good. Everything went fine. I'm going to put some power in the car now. Uh, we were a little gun shy because we, like I said, man, there was all kinds of stuff that we were iffy on the car. Now I'm going to put a little power to it and see what happens. Uh, it may all go to shit after this, yep. but it's one of those deals where if it does, yeah, we was racing Kayla anyways. I had to try you, you definitely can't. There's there's a lot of people here today that you can't. I mean, you gotta go fast. For sure. Like everybody always talks A to B, A to B, A to B. Man, A to B ain't gonna do shit here. No. You know, uh, I went A to B and was killer happy with my first pass. I got two cars put on me by Ryan. After you, you left know? on him. After I left on him because uh, he was waiting on me to bump in and I didn't bump. <laughs> oh yeah, we still gotta try that too. Yeah. Make sure it bumps. It's fine. So, you know, I, I'm going to uh, try a few things here, and and we're gonna see what happens. Like uh, any kind of traction control or uh, gear retard that we had in this deal is is fixing to come out of it. You know, not all of it, but a, a good portion of it. Yeah, yeah. And then at about uh, two two and a half seconds, we're gonna we're gonna take the boost curve. And we're gonna go this way with it. Go to the moon and see what happens. So uh, everything that it caught on that last one was all rev based. Mm -hmm. 
So we weren't even close to our drive shaft. Yeah. So uh, I upped that just a little bit. And I'm about to go to the to the boost right now and we'll see what happens. I mean it made thirty eight pounds that time. Oh yeah. You know, you're talking about these people out here. That was a tune you tune up you had in it for me. And that's yes. a little easy. Yes. <clears throat> so at two seconds I'm gonna get with it right here and we'll see we'll see what happens. As expected, but not how we'd really hope. It's, it's exactly how I expected. I mean, we were racing Kayla. Of course, I was going to try something. You know, I left a little bit early. You know, if you're racing her and you're in the OG piece of shit like I am, her car runs eh, three, four, maybe five tenths faster than me. Yeah, I'm going to try something. I ain't upset about it. But man, it's a good thing that was the last pass before the car comes completely apart because it ripped the back window out and all kinds of shit. So, man, it broke, 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 broke the back window and everything. It ripped the one off of it, everything. Uh, I used to say 187 Customs, now it just says 87 yeah. Customs on the back. It may so, say 87 Uston. The C may be gone too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was the last pass we're going to make before we tear the car all down uh, for winter. Lots of upgrades on that car. It hadn't been tore down in a long time. Man. So, uh, Transmission's been in that car for Ever. five years, <laughs> yeah. five, six years. Yeah. So we're gonna do it all. I still got stock case 400 in that deal. Yeah. So Ryan's up yeah. next. He probably finna lay one down. <laughs> Fun into shake. No, it's just sticky Fireball out there. Going around number two. God damn! He got lucky. He got eight. That don't happen often, but it just happened. Did he jump? Oh yeah, no, he no, jumped. He jumped, jumped back. Sure. He jumped back. Yeah, he left way early. I don't even. I don't think. I don't think anybody's even gonna argue that. <laughs> no, he was. A, he hey, was but a the big one guy. fucking time you raced the fireball and you shouldn't fucking jump. Yeah. Boom. So we would have liked to have gone more rounds, but you know, it came off the trailer, made a good hit. I was it, happy with it. It, it wasn't it wasn't a just a total wasted weekend. No. Something happened the second pass. That car, since we put this motor in it, it seems to run really good on 35 pounds of boost. And then you try to pour the power to it, which we've only tried a couple of times. And it always seems like it slows down a little bit. So we thought, ah. Eh, Oh, that was a fluke. We're gonna we're gonna pour the power to it this yeah. next pass. So I did. It made 25 pounds of boost the whole pass. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? You know, I don't know why, because I have a commanded, and I, I commanded a lot, <laughs> and I can look at my graph on what I command on the boost to make, and what it actually made. Two totally different things, and that usually doesn't happen. Normally, there's one small easy fix and that's we ran out of co2 but i'm kind of wondering this time if uh we didn't run out of co2 no. i'm kind of wondering if 
at some point we had the nitrous in the car just in case i needed it on the big end which maybe i should have hit it but i already knew that i left early you know you're racing kayla morton you've got to try something yeah. you know but she didn't just come around me and dominate me the way that i thought that she was going to and i had already left early otherwise i'd have probably sprayed it but 26 pounds of boost the car slowed down two tenths from our test pass and uh it went a, a 70 something so the way everything looks is that at some point <laughs> I reached over and turned the bottle off. Hey, and I'm not gonna say I didn't do it because I have done it before. Yeah. Like, it was a stupid problem to have. And I'm telling y'all right now, it won't happen with the new car. <laughs> but I put the bottle sideways in the car and if you've got that bottle standing straight up and down, I don't care if I'm standing on my head, I don't care what I'm doing, I know off and on. You lay that bottle down, I don't have a clue, you know? So <laughs> yeah. it's just weird because I don't turn it all the way on anymore. It's I I don't I don't know. I don't I don't really understand. Yeah. All I know is that we told it to make about 50 pounds of boost and it made 25. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, I know what are you gonna do? It, it was pretty violent and now I probably know why, because it did shake. Yeah. Uh, and it pretty much ripped the back window and everything out of the car and uh, and now I know why man it didn't have enough power yeah. it fell off the tire and this because it was all the power it, it, and this track is sticky as shit and, and it was rocking and rolling everything was great and then all of a sudden and I was ah uh, fuck you know so I walk walk pedaled it and uh it was just not happy fell off the tire if we could have kept on applying power to it like I told it to do uh, probably would have been okay, but wasn't a total waste though. I mean, we got our trailer like fixed. So yeah, we did. Well, allegedly. Yeah. We don't really know yet. We're fixing to find that out. Uh, before you leave, we're going to plug them in. We're going to check it. Everything's going to be good. And uh, then we'll know. Ryan's still in this deal. So uh, I'm probably going to go watch his next pass. Uh, he, he probably has, let's be honest. He's gotten lucky a couple of times. Uh, couple he just got beat, but the uh, car shook really bad and because the track is so good. that It shook, but the dude he was racing, red lit. So, hey man, living right. Sometimes you win, sometimes you know. You get lucky and you still win. Yep. So, uh, but right now, he's got to get his shit together. Uh, in my opinion, he got the better lane and uh, he's racing the, the guy who's been putting down good passes all day. And that is... Uh, Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts been hauling ass today, you know, and uh, I mean, Ryan can beat him. Oh yeah. But he's got to do a little bit better than what he did the last couple of passes. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do believe that that Ryan is going to win. Uh, I do think that way more people are shaking in the right lane than they are the left. And Ryan got the left. So, but I shook him the left. But. I had no power in the car, yeah. so it's not not on purpose. But you know, so yeah, he'll we'll, get it. Ryan will get his shit together. He always does. Oh yeah, yep. Hashtag living right. That means he lost. Whether his light came on or not, they said if you hit a cone, you're done. Man, Ryan hit them all. Ryan hit them all. The only one he missed was a 60 foot. <laughs> yeah, the only cone he missed was a 60 foot. Oh man, Bobby's upset. Huh? Bobby's upset. Oh yeah, he is. Where'd you walk? Right there. Hey man, sometimes you hit cones. I do it all the time. Ryan didn't win. He hit every cone out there but the 60 foot. Once again, the right lane is your winner. The left lane gets three cones. Three. <laughs> three. Man, you almost got them all. Get that 60 foot, you'll get them all. Try harder next time. Three out of four ain't bad. 
Hey, hey, go out there, go out there and kick the 60 foot cone. Yeah. I wanted you to be perfect. Hit the pace car. <laughs> man. Hey man, I hit cones all the time. I don't know if I've ever seen Ryan hit them. I think I'm out of him right now. Huh? Hey, he's driving the shit out of it though. Yeah, he was busy as fucking there. He may as well come back and take out that 60 foot cone too so he can be perfect. Just, just punt it right yeah. over the wall. Well. Hey, well. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? He needs to come back and punt that 60 foot cone so he'll be perfect. <laughs> Don't just leave one, you know, get them all, man. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, None of the 405 guys won that deal, unfortunately. Um, but we had a good time. Uh, we learned something with the car again. Uh, apparently, we set the four link back up uh, the correct way. Car made a really good pass on the first one. The second one, like Sean said, we messed something up, but we'll figure it out. So we're going to head and uh, head out east, get the new car, and head to Florida and go testing this next week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as always, thanks for clicking in here. Thanks for watching us. Uh, be sure to comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, what you don't want to see, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks.